in a very similar manner, I can create a collapse animation using the animation wizard as well. So I'll go back into my animation wizard here, and now I'll choose collapse. Again, we do need an explode view within SOLIDWORKS to generate this explode and this collapse. If you don't have an explode view within your project, you're gonna find that explode and collapse are grayed out and you'll only be able to select the rotate model. But again, since we created that explode view, I now have explode and collapse available to me. So in this case, I'll just choose collapse and click next. And exactly same as before, I'll just give it a start time and a duration. In this case, I'm not gonna start at six seconds or zero seconds. I'm gonna start a little bit later. So I have my explode from zero to six seconds. Then maybe I'll just hold for two seconds until eight. So I'm gonna say my start time will be eight seconds there. And then I'm gonna say the duration of my collapse will be another six seconds or so. And once I'm happy with that, I'll say finish. So now we can see if we play through, I can hit the play button or the calculate button if this is my first time through. And I can see the collapse occurring in the exact opposite manner as my explode. So my total animation now has an explode from zero to six seconds. Then it holds for two seconds until eight seconds and then it collapses for another six seconds from eight to 14 seconds. So let's play through that entire animation. Should start with an explode of a few components here, then should hold for about two seconds, and then should start to collapse those components back to its original state.